Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 22nd of February in the year 2022. So that's 2202 oh, 2022. Two, two. And do you know how often that a happens? A lot of twos, Gary. Only ever once, Phil, that happens. Uh, it's quite extraordinary, but then tomorrow's day totally happens once as well. But yes, it is. Uh, there's a name for it. There's the, some special the name twen- for it. 2002 20. 22. Let's mm. flash that up on screen just Spooky, because don't? it's uh, kind of weird. We For those people that are mathematically connected, they're probably not watching this show, but if you are, I'm sure you'll be having a ball just kicking your legs up in the air laughing at the wonderful well, numbers. Well, we've always said, Gary, the purpose of GPTV is to bring the viewers the facts, of not only about the marketplace, but about life. That's yes. why it's the 22nd of the second 2022. I love to say it again. Gary... Mm. Do you think the market's changing? Do you know what happened last week? I'm not going to answer your question yet. Last week, somebody said, because they watched the show last week, yeah. and of course you made that stupid um, <laughs> reference to cocaine, right? That foolish reference. But somebody said that they watched it, and because it went on for so long, they heard cocaine, and then they fast-forwarded it. So they watched it on Fast Forward, and it was like you were on co- co- cocaine, because <laughs> you were just going... Blah, blah, blah. So it was quite an... Uh, Funny comment I got in the weekend. Uh, yes. Phil, the market. Well, it's a kind of interesting market, isn't it, Phil? But firstly, I think that this was the actual entree weekend. This was the official opening of the real estate market, in my opinion. Would you agree yes, with that? Yes, totally. Because, you know, it's a, a market of volume. And uh, pleased to say, Phil, that we've come through with shining colours. Put up that clearance rate, Phil. It's an 86% against the industry average of, I think of 77, 70, I think 76, Gary. Uh, and 76, keep in yeah. mind, ours is definitive. Yes. When we say we have 86%, it's that, fair is, that is real. Yeah. Uh, the industry always gets scaled back because there's a lot of agents that don't report oh, some of Oh, I forgot to. I, yeah. I couldn't get through on the phone. I didn't have a chance. Uh, my mother called the dog ate the homework for my real estate license. There's all those excuses, Phil, uh, that we hear the car broke down down, friend came in from out of town, uh, all of that story. But the reality is, Philip, our, our figures are factual. So well done to our team. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to all those people that bought from us. Congratulations to the vendors. And, uh, and well done to our auctioneers So out let's there dig a weekend. little bit deeper about the marketplace, Gary, because yeah. a lot of our viewers rely on us for the facts. Obviously, this is a frivolous show, Gary. Oh, yeah. uh, and we are allowed to stretch the parameters of truth. So you've just, of truth, you've just talked about how truth. credible we are. And no. now you've just gone and said no, we stretch the parameters so, so I just He's want, like a politician, I, I, isn't he? Just I just want to say to the viewers, has the market changed or not? And well, I'm going to question, I'm going to pose the question, I'm going to answer my own question. It's like going to have a cup of tea and just come I'm going to answer my own question. It's a soliloquy. I'm going to answer my own question. It's not saying, a dialogue. It's I'm a going to answer yeah. my own question, Gary, by saying, I think the market has rapidly found its equilibrium. So we've got this massive amount of stock that's come to the market now. We've had a big weekend. The, the, the buying public have had lots of choice. The number of bidders per property has dropped in proportion little, to the yeah. volume yeah. of property coming yeah, onto the market. It has, market. A little, it has uh, settled and, down And a bit, I think cool. we're now heading towards that equilibrium market where we're still going to see growth. Uh, And we've had some amazing results over the weekend where we just shattered reserve prices. But shattered? But shattered. That's not like shattered in, is it? No, 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 (laughs) shattered. Shattered the reserve prices. Good. So uh, this is my tip for this year, Gary, is that I think we're going to see a much more balanced response from buyers and sellers. But where two people with money still want something badly, we're still going to get some crazy outcomes. Like Gary, and I don't know whether it's undisclosed or not, so I won't say the price. But Pendle Road, classic, it's, it's, classic it's disclosed. You can just class, knock yourself out. Well, classic example, example Gary. Gary we, here, we, had a, we had a we had a statement of information there. We two, ran two, a two, ca- campaign two two to two four. Yep. We had an offer come in prior to the auction, so on the Thursday yeah. last week. Yeah. We had an offer come in at two an million advocate? two yes, million said, six hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Yep. We took that to the vendor and said, look, it's a good offer. Uh, but we think we've got other people that we would refer to, as we always would. So we agreed with the vendor to take Sunday's auction and hold it on a Thursday evening, Thursday night, 8 o'clock. We had the team of Simon Rodolnik doing the auction. Your son, Dan Peer, together with Brandon Oberclade, uh, we held it on site. We did, film. 8 o'clock. Did you go? Yeah, I did. Did you? Of course I was there, Gary. Good on you. I'm there to support and and, and, and help. Um, and anyway, we declared it on the market because we were holding the offer of two million six twenty, and we said this offer is going to buy the property. So we're effectively on the market now, and we ended up selling it for two million eight hundred seventy thousand. 
seventy thousand yeah. dollars, and not to the person who so made the offer. So, quarter Sorry. of a million dollars yeah. over the offer that we had, but a good half a million dollars over where the vendor was more than happy to sell. And Phil, so, there was a uh, report from a commentator today, which blends in with your theme, that there are properties rated as A properties, Phil. Yep, A, a properties, grade. which you know, and a lot of those A, a grade or A properties are homes on land, yes. substantial blocks of land where you know, and there is still some explosive interest in those properties, Philip, where they are selling for unexpected, unprecedented amounts, you know, well, with uh, huge competition. I, I think that will be the theme for this year, where yep. the A-grade properties will still do really well, yep. but the B and C-grade properties yep. will sell in line with general... Well, Precedented levels. Correct. Precedented correct, prices, correct, I think correct. you could say, Phil. Uh, I, I suppose the big, uh, the big problem for real estate agents, yep. Gary, is uh, how do you tell a vendor... Yeah. that their property's not A-grade. Well, you just have, haven't you, really? Uh, uh, well, in fact, um, we would probably never do that. <laughs> so the reality is that every property's A-grade. So there, there's, there's yeah. the agent conundrum, mm. uh, viewers. Uh, how do, is it possible to, well, to, to give the vendor the absolute Vision bare bones uh, view, facts of how of, buyers will see it. Correct. Look, the reality is that for us as the agents, personally, Gary, so everything's, just gonna, everything's, everything's A-grade. fantastic. Everything's A grade. Everything's, everything's A grade for us, but just the buyers aren't necessarily seeing them all that way. But for us, every property is an A grade property. Uh, every vendor wants to have the opportunity to get the best price. Phil, and our it's job moment of is sun. to make moment sure of the sun. that they get it. Uh, we did have some good competition. I, I was wondering, Phil, why wasn't I there on Thursday night? And then I remembered uh, that I actually did something that I've never done before on a Thursday at 6.30. I went to bed because I had that sort of, that bed, that, that yes, bug, I had a stomach I, I bug. I did ring you twice so that I know, evening. And, and, I know, and you, no, you were, were going to no, call the police no, and the ambulance. No, no return call. The police and the hospitals, because you know that's prime time for me. Correct. I'm, you know, this is the... the Life just gets started so for little, me at 7, 8 o'clock at night. A little upset in your little tummy. I did. Like, you know, I've lost three kilos in the four days because I've just got no appetite at the moment, which is quite extraordinary. Well, you know, and another, hurt. another yeah. 25 to go. I'll and, be okay, and, and you'll I? be absolutely yeah. fine. I'll call uh, it the, I, sta the Sammy stomach bug because one of our friends had a bug and he sort of, we'll call him Sam for the purposes of this because that's his, his name. Because his name's Sam. Uh, and the Sammy stomach bug's gone around and it's given uh, beautiful diets to many people, including myself. So I just want to circle back to this A, B, yep. and C grade. Please do. Uh, so so keep in mind, viewers, A grade doesn't mean palatial mansion. No, um, not at all. There are, within all of the different buyer segments, whether it's a one-bedroom apartment, a two-bedroom apartment, a single-fronted house, a townhouse... I feel like you're backtracking. Uh, no, no, I just, I just want to say that... Because yeah. some viewers might think, oh, A grade, you've got to be yeah, a... a $5 million a, a, house a, or whatever, a, yes. A beautiful mansion, luxury yeah. home. So you can have A grade one-bedroom apartments. Can. You can have A grade two-story townhouses. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the market recognises that within all of the market segments, there are some properties that are better than others. So uh, just want to leave yes. it there. Uh, but there's no question, Phil, and this was uh, this came up last year, that the rate of increase of value has been significantly higher for properties with a land component. There is no uh, question. Land, glorious land, Phil. It is hot and it has just become hotter. And if you look at what's going on in areas like New South Wales and Sydney, where land is just completely crazy, it's like every time you take a step at a block of land, it's another $50,000, $100,000 has got Crazy. Uh, so land is what is the absolute hottest thing out there at the moment. Uh, Phil, we can review some of our auctions and we possibly should do so, uh, but it looks like things are getting a little bit more easy, uh, talking about less masks. Um, you know, when they start removing masks altogether, um, am I the only person on the planet that's going to say, why did we ever have them in the first place? Or is that, uh, is that something that maybe others might consider as well? Because um, now I know that, you know, there's that extra X zero percent or whatever it is that makes you a bit safer with a mask, but you know one would have to wonder uh, why we ever had them in the first place. Well, if with all the cases now, all of the research really is showing that the not, like the ninety five percent of mask wearers yeah. are wearing the. Uh, are wearing a mask that really is of no benefit whatsoever. Yeah. So there is certain masks, I yeah. think the P95 No, or I think the ones are. that are like Groucho Marx, you know, <laughs> something like that. Like, remember in the old days, you wore a mask, it was fun, you know, you have a monkey, you have a mask party. Uh, now they've become just very serious. Let's talk about what's coming up this weekend, Gary. No, not yet. No? Not okay. yet. No, I want to review, uh, yeah, I want to review some of our auctions yep. because people want to know what's going on in the market. Okay. They want to know. You know, we're talking about hot stuff. Well, let's talk about hot stuff. You've talked about Pendle Road. Stuff. Um, how about North Road, Brighton? Mr. Brighton over here. Yes, uh, a lot of people Gary. say to us, oh, you're not a Brighton agent. No. But the reality is, Phil, every time we have a house in Brighton, 
We always do incredibly and, well. And what's more of a house incredibly in Brighton well. than an address in North Road, ah, in yes. the absolute epicentre of the, the, the road that goes straight to the beach? I mean, Brighton is North Road. And, and there you, was did, the did team. Did you get changed there before was, that auction there to was, wear something befitting of the suburb? There was the team at Gary Pier and Associates doing what we do, which is aggressively chasing the best price for our vendor. Yes, we had sure. a reserve there, Gary, uh, of $2.2 million. Yep. I didn't get a chance to announce the property was no. on the market until $2.4 million because it just went ahead so quickly and lo and behold we sold it for Gary. 2.8 million and Phil um, you know this, there's now a time uh, where we're also getting a lot of noise about underquoting which will probably dissipate actually because things are stopped yeah, so, going so, up. As soon as the market levels out there's you never no, hear about no, underquoting right. until the market's going up you know when the market's going up we're all underquoting when the market's level or going down you never hear about it um, but you know the reality is there was a property a few doors down that sold for 2.7 that was better than this one Phil so yes. you would be forgiven for thinking well you know maybe our property is less than that uh, but yet the talents of our team uh, and well done to Ben Aisner and Leon and yourself uh, got that one up uh, to 2.8 million dollars so congratulations to the vendor and um, again you know the ROV have come out you know in defense of some of these premium sales and saying look it's not a property is underquoted when it sells so far in advance of the quote range and reserve that were quoted based on reasonable sales, recent sales and precedents. Um, anyway, well done there. Uh, Ludbrook Avenue, uh, you sold that unit there at the back for some clients yep. of ours, with lovely people. And that was a, a very successful sale, Philip. Sold for $1,132,500. And then we backed that up with uh, literally a couple of hours later selling yep. something quite similar in Murray Street. Have you got that result yep. there? Yeah, Murray Street is disclosed $1,210,000. And viewers, yep. I just want to make the point, uh, those are two uh, single-storey villas probably built in the 19, late 1980s or early 1990s. Uh, they are three bedrooms, two bathrooms, single storey villas with a single lock up garage. Very hard now to find those under $1.2 million. Uh, Phil, perhaps our hottest of all auctions was one that I had the pleasure of doing on Sunday. Uh, one at 35 Ulapna Road, Ormond. Uh, some lovely clients of our company, Phil. Uh, and that one, uh, that was a fantastic classic art deco. Gee, they did a beautiful job in presenting that. And, I love uh, the way you say lovely clients of our companies yeah. because um, it would almost be like we've got clients yeah. of our company yeah. and then we've got lovely clients of our company. Aren't all of our clients lovely they clients? Are. Well, I okay. would describe every client as a lovely client. Well, of our uh, I think yeah. from you've set the precedent there, Gary. So okay. now, if every we ever just client, refer yeah. to clients, uh, take it as assumed yes. that they are lovely clients. Or we'll edit it and put the lovely clients, just don't put the change of s suit in or whatever, and insert lovely client in place of client. But uh, lovely clients of our company, Philip, sold for one, oh, I can't say the price because it's undisclosed, but uh, how many bidders, Gary? Just tell us how many bidders you have bidders, there. Phil. Eight, okay. Eight bidders, extra so, most extraordinary auction. So, uh, great eight house. Well bidders, done, Mark eight Kirkham. bidders yeah. is what we call a volcano auction yeah. to use a, uh, to a James Byer advocacy, uh, uh, advocacy James, yeah. term. Uh, a volcano is where you have multiple bidders Explosive and fuel. multiple bidders over, over the reserve price. Uh, great result. We also had a couple of sales on the weekend that happened, Phil, where somebody turned up on the day. Yes. One, and another one in Buran Road where someone turned up uh, the one day on before. one Buran Road. It's a beautiful home. Congratulations to the buyer and the lovely clients of our country that sold that. Uh, that, Phil, uh, also that came the day before. So some people, if they know that it's the right property, Phil, they're just going to have a play for it and go for it straight Well, away. educated buyers, Gary, can see a property on the day of the oh, auction yeah. because if they've been in the market for a number of months and gone from property to property to property, yep. uh, you do get a feel really within a couple of months of, uh, of doing your research. So if you do arrive at a property, uh, understand that if you do bid for it and buy, you're about, represent 10 to 15% of our buyers by having seen the property for the first time on the day or the day before. Do you reckon the guy who watched it last week and fast forward is doing it again and you've got that whole chipmunks like a helium, helium sound? Um, let's talk about this weekend, Phil. We've got a very busy weekend coming up. We Shall do. we start to go we into do. review mode? How many auctions, Gary? Uh, 34 auctions, Philip, coming up. We can't wait for the weekend. No, no, no. We're going tomorrow, Phil. Uh, we're going tomorrow to auction. We're also going tomorrow to the races because Man of Heart is running tomorrow in the fourth race at Sandown, Phil. Could, I think it's the fourth race. Could be a big chance. Man of Heart. Are you putting money Man on this? Are you advising um, our clients to put money on that horse, Gary? Look, I'd never, I don't think I'd ever advise anyone to put any money on any horse I'm ever involved with, Phil, because uh, they tend to be... Uh, not the most uh, successful money spinners, but Man of Heart could be a good each way chance uh, at Sandown tomorrow, Phil. But uh, lo just, and behold, just out of interest, yeah. why is it called Man of Heart? Well, I actually named it, Phil. Right. Interesting enough. Because why? The, well, because the, the mother's, the father's name is a reliable man, and the mother's name is Cardiac, 
So I thought, cardiac, reliable man, heart man. So I named Beautiful, it. beautiful. Yeah. Isn't it fascinating how horses' names, are, uh, people go. come up with horses' simple names. Simple people like me, not from brilliant, you know, clever people, but from uh, just novice real estate salespeople that happen to have a little share. Uh, All right. Phil, anyway, uh, Phil, we're not waiting because tomorrow we've got this fantastic property for Huntley Road, 132 to 134. Fabulous development site, Gary, 643 square metres. What a great opportunity. So much flexibility. And Elwood, obviously, one of Melbourne. And I'm, I'm not going to talk about who is involved in that sale because we're going to bring that person on GPTV soon, Phil. Uh, let's move on to the 24th, Phil, because we've got other midweek auctions. One at 287 Elm Road. Great looking yeah, Gary, that is a beautiful brand new home. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms, double lock-up garage and a lift from the ground floor to the first floor if you're feeling a little bit weary in the evening. When you hear Rose Hill, Phil, what do you think of? Right, I think of Sydney Racing, yeah. Gary. Oh, I didn't think I'd get you there. Know, Gary. Home of the Golden there Slipper, you, yes, you, indeed. There you go. Uh, well, not uh, only is it a prestigious race course, Phil, but it's a prestigious address in Caulfield North. Number yes. two, Rose Hill, goes off Thursday. And we've PM. got 600, uh, approximately 600 square metres of land with a really good, livable home, Gary. Uh, that's a great opportunity to get into the market right into the epicentre of the Golden Mile of Caulfield North. We've got a very busy Saturday, Philip. We're going to start off in Carnegie. David Thompson's doing his thing in Rosanna Street. One bedroom, one bathroom, one car space. Gary, great opportunity to get into the market. Phil, we're going to start you off down in Cheltenham. Uh, there'll be some good farmers markets down that way this weekend as well, if you're looking for one. In fact, there's one in Bentley, in the Bentley Bignall Road, the Bentley School. Uh, community announcement there. Go to the farmers market, support your local produce. Uh, Phil, Radcliffe Avenue in Cheltenham. Gary, what a great little opportunity that is with two bedrooms, one bathroom and a lock-up garage, some courtyard garden area there. Uh, and uh, that is a really good location in Cheltenham. Uh, Jeremy Rosens kicks off his auctions at 10.30am in Caulfield South in Hawthorne Road. Uh, we're looking forward to that one, Philip. 302 at 365 Hawthorne Road. One bedroom, one bathroom, and one car space. Caught you napping there for a moment. Uh, Phil, I'm going to be doing my first auction on Saturday at 11.30 at number two, Frederick Street, Phil. I'm Gary, excited about that it. that is a really good house. I dropped in to have a look at that the other day. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, plenty of off-street car parking, stunning garden, and a really stunning renovation of that uh, home. The Mighty Quinn, Phil, uh, was a song. Uh, do you know who the artist was? No. Anybody paying attention? Tell us who sung The Mighty Quinn, and we will give you uh, some gold-class tickets. Just put, uh, just send it through. The Mighty Quinn. And there's the address. Uh, ideas at GaryP.com.au. Uh, 7 at 14, Quinns Road, Bentley East. Phil. Gary, beautiful apartment. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms bathrooms, two car spaces in the basement, uh, massive terrace area, a beautiful project. It's one of our four 11.30 auctions, Phil, which you're not doing any of, by the way. You can have well, a little cup of coffee. That? Uh, four at 688 Inkerman Road in Caulfield North. General Gary, Rose's one auctions. bedroom, one bathroom, one car space uh, and courtyard garden there as well. That is just, you know, if you're looking for a one bedroom apartment, that's as good as it gets. Uh, Phil, the Carnegie auction market on a Saturday without the Samuels is like racing without, without horses. horses. You know, without horses. Uh, 13 Porter Road is Leor's first auction. Three on bedrooms, Gary, two bathrooms, 615 square metre corner site. Uh, so you couldn't get a better opportunity because you've got a house and land, and that's a winning formula. We're wheeling you out, Philip, at 12.30. We're bringing you up from your cup of coffee break, and we're going to get you to auction number 21, Cambridge Street. Gary, we love that little pocket of North Caulfield, which is situate between Alma Road and Dandenong Road. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a double lock-up garage, gorgeous garden, wraparound garden areas. That is a great way to get into the market in Caulfield North or Armadale, or Paran East, or St Kilda East, because it's on the cusp of those three other suburbs. Phil, as we move along, Clinton Street, Brighton East, a great address, Jeremy Rosen's auctions at 12.30. Yes, uh, three bedrooms, one bathroom, uh, plenty of car parking there. We've got a, a lock-up garage and a car space in front. Uh, terrific home. Uh, Phil, we've got double action action at 13302 Bamber Road. Well, we love Bamber Road. We have so much success on Bamber Road. That's the most beautiful renovated home. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, plenty of off-street car parking and a fabulous back garden. 21 Leopold Street is at 1.30 p.m. You're going to be auctioning that one, Philip, on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, looking forward to that, Gary, because that uh, is um, a five-bedroom, three-bathroom home and that pocket of Caulfield South, which is on the, which is kind of 
part of Ormond and that whole McKinnon area, Ormond McKinnon, yep. uh, walking distance to the redeveloped uh, radio, uh, train station uh, in North Road. Ormond, yep. Really good location. It's a hot there. spot, Phil. Well, we're done, but Jeremy Rosen's doing six auctions on Saturday. I reckon yeah, that's a, that'll that's sort a him out. That'll, it? <laughs> that'll show exactly right. Better have a good cup of coffee in the morning and then early night on Friday, Jez. Uh, he's going to be in Sutherland Road, Armadale, Philip, at 2 30 p.m. Great address, two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space, uh, and that is one of the best located apartments you'll ever find because that pocket of Armadale is fabulous. We owned an apartment there once a we long did. time ago. We once upon a time, yeah. Gary. Yep. And then we yep. foolishly what sold it. What a great it. shame mm. we don't still own it. It is a big shame, Phil. We foolishly sold it to fund uh, this business opening. That's right. Yeah, That's we right. had to well, do that it. Wasn't we had no foolish. choice. No, it wasn't foolish, really, was it? Uh, 8 at 3.06 down Long Road goes up at 3.30. Jeremy Rosen's again. Again, two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space. And Leo Samuel will be meeting Daniel Peer for the last auction at 3.30 in Finlayson Street, Melbourne. And Not again, sold before, two bedrooms, maybe. one bathroom, one car space. That wraps up Saturday, Phil. We've got a couple of feature properties to talk about before we get to our Sunday auction. We're going to get out of order here because I tell you what, this house in Cedar Street, Phil, this very beautiful period home in Cedar Street, and that very affordable range, Phil, somewhere in that sort of low to mid ones, uh, there's been a lot of attention for that. There's 29 been mass, Cedar Street. Massive numbers go through that, uh, Gary. Um, it, it really is the most fastidiously refurbished home. The, it's pretty as everything about it just ticks all the boxes. Beautiful home. People should check that out. Going to auction a couple of weeks. Uh, feature property of the week, uh, number 29 Cedar Street. Check that out for a beautiful home. Phil, another home that's had a lot of attention is 339 Glenira Road. A bit of a feature property oh, of the week Gary, as well. This is the most gorgeous Art Deco home that gives you an affordable opportunity to buy right into the epicentre of Caulfield North. It's also on the corner of Garrell Street. It's approximately 500 square metres in size, which means you know there's land possibilities there as well. But that is a beautiful home. First time and, offered and, in. And well, uh, decades, Forever, yeah. decades. Yeah, been there for a long, been the same vendors for a long time, always tells a good story. Uh, Phil, we've got, I think, about 14 or 15 auctions on Sunday. Let's start off with your auction uh, at 10.30am in Bamber Road. Yeah, Gary, this is a terrific property. This is a single-level villa uh, which sits on top of a basement where you've got two car parks. Uh, that's three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and that is in the, the, the Paris end of Bamber Road. I think you could have as many as seven auctions on Sunday. You've done seven auctions yeah, for a while. Many yeah, many times, Gary. So, yeah, Good just, just uh, getting started. That's lucky that you're just a healthy man, isn't it? Uh, very lucky. You have to be. Phil, in your situation. Uh, we have triple auction action at 11.30am. We're going to be in Newland Street. Graham Callan auctions this terrific Gary, property. that's a single level villa home, three bedrooms, one bathroom and a lock-up garage uh, with a car space in front as well. So beautiful home. Webb Street's one of the best addresses in Caulfield and this is one of the best homes in it, Phil. Gary, this is a stunning home of four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a double lock-up garage. This has only ever had one owner and it is magnificent. It feels like a brand new home. Move straight in and get on with life. We love Oron Crescent, Phil, across the road from our office, and this is a terrific apartment that goes at 11.30. Two bedrooms, Rosens. two bathrooms, secure car park, uh, and obviously part of the Alma Village. Four auctions uh, at 11, th uh, sorry, 12.30, I should say, Phil. Four auctions, Master Street, Caulfield, Son, Redonic auctions. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space, a beautifully renovated apartment. Uh, 22 Elm Street, Phil, it's actually three auctions. 22 Elm Street in St Kilda East, Jerry Rosen's auctions. Doesn't get much prettier than this. Four bedrooms, one bathroom, a gorgeous facade, plenty of land there. That is really a lovely home in an amazing location. Now, this is a lovely home, Phil, amongst the planets, uh, this time Saturn. Yes, uh, what a great opportunity this is because you get all of everything you're looking for there. You've got land, you've got a beautiful home, you can move straight in, you can add some value. Three bedrooms, one bathroom, off-street car parking for a couple of cars. A really, really good opportunity there in a very coveted pocket of Caulfield South. Triple auction action, Philip, at 1.30pm to Pretoria Street, Caulfield. Yes, I'm the auctioneer. and aren't you lucky because I am. that's a beautiful property. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a lock-up garage for two cars. That is a stunning home. Four at 147 Sycamore Street, a great property, Philip Jeremy Rosen's auctions. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that in the two bedroom, one bathroom, one car space category. Uh, that's a great location. A palatial home on a massive block of land, a state style offering. Philip. Oh, Gary, this is incredible. I've had the pleasure of looking after this home, uh, and that is a massive parcel of land with a huge frontage to Kuyong Road with a very stately home. We've got interest uh, from both home buyers and land buyers because it's 1,107 square metres. Also been uh, in the same hands for a long time, Phil, so looking forward to seeing that one go. 2.30, we've got triple auction action, Grange Road, Ormond, Leo Samuel auctions there. 
Yes, uh, Gary, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a, a lock-up garage there with courtyard garden areas, a single-storey villa home always sought after. You can walk down from your auction uh, at your 130 auction, Kuyong Road, just a few doors down uh, to number 109 Kuyong Road. I Phil. can, Gary, and this is the most, this is the best example oh, of house. late 60s, mid 70s architecture. They just don't build homes like this anymore. It's solid. It, it, this house will be up for hundreds of years. It's that well built uh, and it's got everything. It's been beautifully refurbished throughout. It's got uh, as many as five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, plenty of off street car parking, and a very gorgeous west and north facing bathroom. That garden complete with swimming pool. Love it. Great home, that one. Snap purchase, Phil. A snap purchase. One bedroom, one at nine. Daniel Crescent. Uh, Viv Samuel's been handling it. Simon Redonnelly Auctions. Looks like it could be a good opportunity. Uh, 3902 Road. Well, we're talking about land, glorious land. Here's a great example. 608 of square metres, Gary. And that's right, uh, obviously, in the heart of the Golden Mile. Sure West facing at the rear. Uh, and very, very hard to get into that area under $3 million now. Indeed it is, Phil. We've been the curtain down at one thirty at 131. Uh, sorry, 3.30 at 131. Uh, Glen Iowa Road. Phil, tell us about Two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space. Uh, that's just a, a great apartment in a great spot. That's a wrap, Phil, of a very busy weekend, getting into the nitty-gritty of the market. We've had our opening weekend. We know things are strong out there. We know th some things are stronger than others. But still... 80%, you know, thereabouts, uh, we're above that industry, pretty close to that. That's still a seller's market, you've got to say, doesn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. Gary. Look, this, this is going to be a busy year. It's going to be a buoyant year, and buyers are wanting to buy. Sellers are meeting the market. Uh, so I, I think uh, February, March, April are going to be three very good months. Well, we're looking forward to bringing you all the real estate news on GPTV. It feels good out there. If you think you're buying or selling, uh, we would love to help you. We've got plenty of properties, but they sell quickly, so we're always needing more. Uh, at Gary Pier Real Estate. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of GPTV. We appreciate having you here and we'll continue to bring you all the news and we'll see you next week. Oh, that's on one GPTV. of the longest goodbyes I've ever, ever had to listen to. Uh, we'll speed it up by saying I'm Philip Kingston. Have a great week.